Hello and welcome. Well, a couple of weeks ago, I designed a new cutoff tool holder for my lathe. And I think it resolved a lot of the problems with cutoff on small lathes. Uh, it's a really rigid uh, way of mounting the cutoff tool. Uh, but I found a better way to make the tool holder. Uh, I'm really pleased with the way the original one worked, but this one is a lot easier to make. We're going to cover that today. Uh, first, though, I'd like to cover the reason behind this cutoff tool holder. Okay, I don't have a cutoff blade holder for my quick change tool post. Uh, this is a uh, actually a grooving tool. Uh, it, it, you can do cutoff with it, but it's really intended for grooving. But the same problem exists with this. Look at right here. This is all unsupported. There's nothing holding that blade from moving down. The only thing that's holding it is, is the tool post. So there's a lot of leverage like that on the tool post. Not only is it going that direction, but it's also unsupported this way. Okay, this is what I came up with before. Uh, this tool is about the same height the two center on my lathe although it's very slightly low and I had to add a couple of shims right there and that kind of added to the complexity uh, but it mounts like this and when you uh, lock it to your tool post it also clamps down on the blade uh, blade solid in there and that that works really well but I got a new way to make this block to hold the blade and I'm gonna make it to hold this blade it's a little bit narrower it requires a little bit lathe uh, less power on my lathe uh, and it should work just as well as this tall blade I, I would think this one's 332 and this one's eighth inch okay what I've got here is a transfer punch chucked in my three jaw. And I'm going to make this uh, tool holder out of inch and a quarter square stock. It's not real critical on the length but this is two and three quarters. Uh, what I'm going to do is use that transfer punch to scribe my center. So that's established my uh, center height right there. So that'll be the top of the blade. Okay, I'm setting this up in my mill. Uh, I want to uh, mill a slot right up to the scribe line. Uh, before I go any further, I should probably discuss this cutoff blade. I don't know if you can see that. The camera will focus. It's wider right here and narrow right here. It's parallel down here, but it's a little wider up here. And the top of that is actually uh, concaved. And I think that probably makes the chip clearance real good when you're cutting. But anyway, I want to mill a slot that wide. I got a half inch mill in there and this is uh, 11 16 wide. So I'm going to drop the mill down on it, reset to zero. And I'm close to the line there. Uh, reset to zero. and go a hundred thousandths deep. Good. I don't want to go go too far. I want to be right at the at that line. I'm gonna sneak up on it. Okay, I ended up going twenty thousandths closer to the line. Uh, I actually took the line off, but that's probably about where I want to be. Okay, hopefully you can see this. I've made my first cut against this scribe line right here. Now 
and I did it with a half inch mill. The second cut, I need to move my mill uh, 187 thousandths. That'll give me a total width of 11 sixteenths there. I'm going to go 185. I can always make it bigger. We'll, we'll test the cutoff blade fit. what I'm milling right now. Uh, needs to be about a hundred thousandths deep and a quarter inch wide. It's just clearance for the top part of that cutoff tool. Uh, I've set my mill up with a quarter inch mill there and I'm setting the depth for one hundred thousandths. I went back to zero and did the math uh, going from a uh, half inch uh, mill to a quarter inch mill and that should be an eighth inch difference on one side so and I set it for 124 let's see how close we get it should be really close Okay, the next step is to drill a mounting hole and it needs to be fairly close to where the blade will be mounted so that it'll collapse the two halves and clamp the blade. Uh, that's 815 thousandths. That'll put that 3 eighths hole just a little bit shy of that cut right there. So I've got, got this set for 850 this way. Got the uh, 850 thousandths from this side. Got the table set that way. I got a mark for my center. Okay, I'm getting ready to make this bandsaw cut right here. And it has to go through and leave about an eighth inch on the back side. Uh, I'm sure most of you've got a better cutoff saw than what I got. Uh, I mean, this works good, but it's kind of makeshift. I put a shim over here so that, and I put a shim under here so it won't cut all the way through, hopefully. So here goes. Okay, I've cut my bandsaw, cut, left about uh, maybe a little over eighth inch on that side, a little under on that side. Uh, it's not real critical, uh, but it's got to be able to flex to clamp down on your blade. And you can see there, if you make the blade flat against the first mill cut, the blade's uh, perfectly vertical. So, I got my T-nut in here. I had to put a couple of washers right there so it wouldn't go through my T-nut. And let's see if I can find a 916s here. Okay, right now it's loose. Ah, and tight. Perfect. Okay, we're ready to give it a try. Okay, I've got my blade mounted. It's parallel to the chuck. I got my uh, compound set straight uh, that offers a little better support underneath your tool uh, underneath the tool holder uh, I've got it to the fairly close to the left side of my compound centered would be better but I need that clearance for my for my chuck so we're ready to try it let's give it a try
Beautiful. Beautiful. It cut it off flush. Uh, that means I'm directly on center. Or exactly on center. I'm very pleased with that. Let's try one with auto feed. Well, that's it. I'm very pleased with the outcome on that. Cut it off nice and smooth. That one was with auto feed. Uh, this can be adapted to just about any lathe uh, and cutoff blade, really. Uh, just according to what your compound to center height is. Uh, but if you follow this same procedure, you should be able to adapt it to your lathe. Uh, Thanks for joining me and be sure and subscribe.